Don't come after me! Yeah, he almost got me. Living dead dolls. Some people love them, some people hate them. I can see why, but personally, I love them because instead of being like every other toy company trying to make an exact replica of something, they give it their own little vibe, and that often leads to some very unique and super cool dolls. Yes, I said dolls because this is an actual doll. Living Dead Dolls presents Halloween, the king of Halloween himself, Michael Myers. As you can see, taking a look, you'll see what I mean. It doesn't look anywhere near as scary as Michael Myers actually looks. I mean, if this was Michael Myers, I'd just probably point and laugh at him and be like, ha ha, you're gonna do what to me? Nuh uh. Although, still, even though he doesn't look too scary, it's for ages 15 and up, not a toy for children, intended for adult collectors only. If we take a look at the back of the box, we can see how he's supposed to look, and as you can see, although he doesn't look as scary, he does still look scary, and you don't want to mess with him. I mean, just look at those eyes. There's no soul there. Living Dead Dolls presents Halloween. Living Dead Dolls presents Halloween. And really, there's not much else to see, but this will look very great if you just want to set it up on your shelf as a collector. Although, we don't do that over here. We open them up, unleash the beast, per se. And it all starts with a slice of some tape. Oh, yes. We got him out. Taking another closer look at him. Oh, looking very creepy, although a bit uncreepy. It depends on how you look at him. Although, I'm still scared. Ooh. Oh, wow. This one, they did not tie him down, so... Right now, he's free. And of course, we do have his signature knife looking oh so deadly and sharp. He is free, and we can take him on out. Whoa, those eyes. Are those... 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 Oh, whoa! Those eyes! I mean, take a look at those eyes. Complete and total black. Complete and total darkness. No soul whatsoever. Now, if we're taking a look at him, as you can see, this isn't the distressed mask from the new movie. This is one of the original masks before all the bad stuff went down. But those eyes, though, I can't get over those eyes. It's just, there's nothing there. We can take a look at his hair. His hair is nice and combed back, looking very nice up until he gets distressed. He's got his nice jumpsuit on. It's actually fabric, feeling very nice, looking cool. The pockets, ooh, this is an actual pocket up here. You can actually reach in there and put something in there. This one, however, is closed shut and you won't be able to do anything with that one. Now let's see how many points of articulation we have. We have his arm, no elbow, so his arms just move up and down, but his elbows don't, his hands don't move. Let's see, his legs do move, so you can have him sit. Sit down if you want to, although it looks like he's gonna fall. <sighs> no, he's actually staying. Okay, that's pretty cool. His knees do not move. His feet do not move. But his boots do look like they come off. Do they come off? They do come off. His boots do come off. I'm not sure why I'm taking them off, but you can. You can walk around barefoot if you'd like. Let's see. Can he stand up barefoot? I think so. If we can just get his legs back the way they were. There we go. He can stand up barefoot. Although, I don't know why. I mean, if you want to wash his feet or something because it starts smelling or something. So let's just put his boots back on. As you can see on the back, they are open to make it easier to put on. Snap right into place. E I said easier, it's not the easiest thing ever. Put his pant leg back over the boots. There we go, we gotta make him look presentable when he's killing people on Halloween. So since this is a cloth jumpsuit right here, you can actually take it off with the Velcro. And there's nothing to see underneath, it's not really detailed at all. But you can take it off if you need to clean it. Because remember, these things can get dirty. And oh, here we go, a little Easter egg. Whoa. Is this an Easter egg? I don't know if this is supposed to be here, but maybe. It looks like maybe. His arms actually do have some distress on them, as you can see. Like, it kind of looks like they just got some leftover paint on here, but it's on both arms and only in this spot. So I think it's actually part of it. Because you could roll up his sleeves too. So they actually distressed his skin a little bit on his arm. So that's actually really cool. Now over here on the back, we do have the copyright stuff. Halloween, trademark, Michael Myers, yada, yada, yada. Nothing going on on the front. Looking very basic, you know, because you're not really supposed to see all this. It's not the point. You're supposed to leave him in his jumpsuit because that's Michael Myers. I don't think you've ever actually... S Has Michael Myers ever not been in his jumpsuit? I can't remember. You guys let me know. And if he did, did he look like this? <laughs> all right, let's see. Come on, get your hand back through. Put it back on. And let's put the Velcro back together. All right, there we go. So as you can see, we got him back the way he's supposed to be looked at. Now his hair, you can mess it up if you want. He's going crazy. Whoa. Well, this hair gets a little bit crazier than I expected. Whoa, I did not see this coming. Bed head. Okay, let's get it back. 
Hope I didn't mess it up. Maybe you need to get a hairbrush. Oh, his hair did fall out everywhere. Yikes. I mean, it is kind of... Well, it is a mask, I guess. So it's not his real hair. So I guess it is what it is. The mask is getting old, though. So, you know, the hair is eventually going to fall out. Now, taking a look at the mask, you can't take the mask off. It is part of his head. Unfortunately, that'd be really cool if you could take it off. I mean, it's a really good size. It's about 12 inches tall. I don't know about exact height, but, you know, I'm eyeballing it. It's about a ruler. A ruler. You know what a ruler looks like. This is about as tall as a ruler. On the bottom of his feet, no holes here for a stand, so he's just going to be standing up on his own, of course, and he's doing a good job. You can pose him. He looks really cool. I like Living Dead dolls because, like I said, they're different than the ordinary dolls where they're supposed to look exactly like the movie. These have that more cartoonish looking vibe where it's not too scary, but it still gives you that creepy vibe. He's like, yo, that's Michael Myers. His eyes are black. Something's wrong here. Something is horribly wrong, but overall, it's looking very cool. I love my Living Dead dolls. Got a nice collection of them going, and Michael Myers is being added to it. But it looks really cool. What do you guys think of it? I mean, the detail's good. It's not, like, film accurate or anything by any means, but it's really cool. I'm really digging it. Has some nice weight to it. Feels good. And this is a doll. It's You're supposed to be 15, so if you're 15, you could take this to school with you in high school and be like, Hey, don't, don't mess with me. I got Michael Myers protecting me. I got Michael Myers protecting me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's nice and cuddly. Not really. You don't want to cuddle him because... If you go to sleep, all bets are off. He's going to come to life and get you. Yeah. Now, of course, we got to wield his knife in his hand. Let's stick it right into his hand. Oh, wow. Perfect fit. Look at that. Oh, look, it's so scary. Ah, ah, ah. ah, don't come after me. Yeah, he almost got me. Now, granted, I'm not sure if he would hold it this way in most cases because he's probably going in a downward motion. So let's see. Can we hold him? Can we have him hold the knife this way? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Ah, 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 rah. Yeah, this knife. Oh, wow. So this will look really cool. I mean, you just stand this on your mantle, your nightstand, put it in your Halloween candy basket. Don't take it to school because the knife is sharp and very deadly. You don't want to get in trouble. Now, if he comes after you at night, though, with that knife, you better have your own knife to protect yourself. But wow. Pretty spooky, especially when he's up here like this. Look at that. He's like, oh, I'm coming to get ya. I'm coming to get ya. Oh, yeah, he probably doesn't talk that much or at all. So he just slowly comes after you. But no matter how fast you run, somehow he always catches up to you. It's impossible, but somehow he does it. I think his hand's usually by his side, too. Like, you could be running super fast. You could get to another state. All of a sudden, you turn around and you see him again. <laughs> how? I don't know how he does. He has some kind of superpowers like that. That's insane. His hair is crazy, though. Like, once you mess it up, it's messed up. You can't fix this stuff. I mean, just look at him. He looks really cool with his knife, though. Wow, 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 wow. See, you get him to stand up. <sighs> Put your knife up. <sighs> oh! I took out Michael Myers with a second breath and he had his knife against me. What? I'm pretty good. I'm impressed. Michael Myers can't get me. I mean, look, can he even get back up now? He's, just, uh, he's dead. He's gone. At least you always think he is until you turn around and you look back and he's right there. Ah! Don't play. Don't play with me. So what do you guys think? Let me know if you guys have a collection of Living Dead dolls. If you like Living Dead dolls, if you saw the new Halloween movie, what you guys thought. Do you think there's going to be a sequel to the new one? I mean, it took 40 years for that one. Hopefully it doesn't take 40 years for the next one because that would suck. But Michael Myers is here to stay to keep us company as we await the next film. And Halloween's coming, so watch out for him on the streets. Ah!